we're having to start all over again. So we're going to start off unemployed like we did at the beginning of the series before Scarborough Athletic and see who takes us. Now I'm not going to go to the North League, I'm going to go to the South. So I'm going to reject or not even bother with the North because we've been in the North League twice now. And I, I just want a little bit of a change. And plus, I'm a Southerner. I'm down South. So it could potentially allow me to go to the club. Scarborough was too far for me to travel just for a video. Whereas if I get a club near me, then obviously we can go. Anyway, let's jump right into it. So here we go. We start a new game. We're going to do for usual original go unemployed and we are going to choose our nation. So we're going to have England, France, Germany, Italy. I've got to think about the league structures, how low they can go compared to England. We're going to have Spain. Did we put Netherlands? I'm thinking, yeah. We can always, end of the day, we can always take them out. We'll look at the probably the league structures. I can't remember what we did in our last save, but yeah, I think this would be all right. Let's choose, let's choose all for lower ones anyway. So Liga, Free Liga, Italian C, and we'll take out Netherlands. It doesn't get, it's only two divisions and Spanish has four and Italy has three, Germany has three, France has four and England has plenty. So yep, these are my options and we will start the game. I'm going to use my current profile. Uh, at the moment, it's selected for Premier League. I was doing some testing, but we're actually going to do National League C license and we're going to do Sunday League Footballer and become a motivator manager. I think that's exactly what I did in the last save because I like it. I like it like that. So we're going to save the game, unemployed, and I'm going to come back to you when we get some job offers. Right, we are back and I have been offered a job interview with Chelmsford City. They are in National League South. They are red, so is that a indication of what team we're going to be? Just having a quick look here at their team, making sure that we got a squad that we could potentially compete with or turn around their fortunes. They're currently 17th in the league. Just want to have a look at their history. We've been a Vanarama national team for a long time. Uh, not a national, sorry, South. Vanarama oh, uh, National League South team for ages. I don't know which way do you say that. Vanarama National League South. Yeah, it is right. Uh, they got a 3,000 capacity stadium. Cross. Just don't know. Look. Basic. OK Academy. Youth recruitment. Basic. And we've also been offered a job at Hereford. But they are in for Vanarama National League North. And as I've already said, we're not going to do North. So we're going to go for the interview at Chelmsford. But we're also going to reject the interview at uh, Hereford. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, we did get an interview with Hemel Hempstead, which we've already done. I forgot to record it, if I'm honest. But we're going to jump into these interviews and I will tell you the outcome in a minute. So there we go. We've been offered a job at Hemel Hampstead. Uh, to be fair, I'm not going to complain about what they're offering me. Let's just get a job and see what we can do. We'll go through the team in a minute. But here you go for official Hemel Hampstead Town Hire Duper. It's quite funny because Hemel Hampstead is near St Albans and my Got some family in St Albans. Would have been nice to have St Albans, right? So a game's going to come really quickly. So I'll probably get a chance to go through for team, have a quick look, do my usual setups. I'm not going to bore you with that. And let's go into a first match. And we are playing Chippenham Town, who are position above us in 20th. So we are 21st, 11 games played. This is our first game as Emil Hempstead Town Manager. I have picked my, what I think is my best 11. We are playing our usual tactics that we've been playing since I think Man United and we won for treble. Then we won promotion with our first part of unknown to icon of being for Scarborough athletic manager. Obviously we lost that save and we are starting again. First game of season. How will we do? I think I'm going to let my assistant pick my bench. Let's go see what this team can do and if we need to bring any transfers in. It looks like it will be one in, one out based on my budgets. As we always like to do, we like to have a live reaction in for big games. So this is live and not me just talking over highlights. 
the media have been on our backs for ages now. Our home form is important. Let's go out there and make for advantage count. Let's, yeah, I want to create a home winning atmosphere. So previous manager's form was lost, won, lost, lost, lost. Hence he got sacked. Chippenham Town's not too bad. They've won, drawn, won, lost, lost. I'm hoping for a win here. We've got the ball. Ooh, post. Don't know the players' names yet. Again, I've got to learn new players. I was just getting used to my Scarborough players' names after a season and a half. We move on though, don't we? Right. Chippenham's got the ball. They whip it in. And what is Taylor doing? What is our goalkeeper doing? Good defending, Hines. I know our main goalkeeper is out. Is that going to push us further down in relegation? Are we relying on a goalkeeper? Good defending. Right, can I attack? Go, Judd. Set loads of men forward. Go. Can we whip it around Whitaker? Get it across. Who's that? Gaspar. 1 0. What's your highlights here? Who was it? Krasnik. Krasniki. Learn the name Whitaker to Gaspar. Beautiful counter attack there. We go 1 0 up. Got the ball again. Hines into the box. Oh, putting pressure on. Back to Briscoe. Briscoe cuts inside to Krasniki. Whitaker. Oh. What is it? 28 to 29 minutes played. We've got more shots, more on target. Not holding for possession. This tactic likes holding a bit of possession. But we do like creating more if we don't have possession. That's why I like this tactic. All right, nearly half time. Can we keep it 1 0 or make it 2 0? All right, we get ball back. Gaspar, he gets past two. Out wide to Briscoe. Can Briscoe get into Hines? Oh, a little header there. Kalen Hines. Makes us 2 0. This is important game. As I said, they're 20th, we're 21st. We are in relegation. They are not. And I don't know what the point difference is. If we win this, does that take us out of relegation? Could that be our first job as manager? First game, first job, first win, out of relegation. Oh, was it offside? Or did it count? It counted. That's all I care about. Right, half time. It is 2 0. We've had six shots, four on target, and only 43% of the possession. But we are making the most of the ball when we have it. Oh, they've got a corner. Bradbury. Whipped it in near post. Oh, it went past everyone there. Can we get, find a counter here? No. But they're coming back. Bradbury again. Goes for a crack. Good save. Hands by Taylor. Five minutes of injury time. We've got a corner. Whitaker. On for right hand side of the pitch. Crosses it in. No, it went near post, couldn't find it, but Whitaker's got it again. Loops it. Far post this time. But no, it's well defended by Chippenham. Williams, Matthews. Matthews finds it back down to Stallard. Williams finds it into Briscoe. Briscoe's had a really good game. Briscoe can't get his cross in. He tries again into Hines. Hines got really good. He must be quite tall because he's just getting over those defenders. Gets a header in again. That's his second goal of the game. That is 3-0 and finished. We get for three points. Does that take us out of relegation? Uh, on the pitch, he doesn't look that tall, but he gets great height. and just gets it in. Right, 92nd minute. Halfway through for ninth second minute. Chippenham's got the ball again. It'd be nice to finish the game with a clean sheet. We are playing park the bus, but in a positive manner. As Nicky just finds it all the way through. He's going to get a fourth. Yes, what a victory. The duper effect is there. This tactic is fantastic. It's doing so well. Treble with Man United. Promotion with Scarborough. And we was even fourth place. When I finished the save. So we could be aiming towards back-to-back -to -back promotions. It was going a bit leeway. We were second for a while. It was going a bit leeway at the end. Getting into January. But I brought reinforcements in. Who knows what it would have been, right? Ooh. Chippenham nearly got a goal there. 
but I think it's going to be all over. Come on, ref. Play a whistle. Time watching. Come on. Every second. That's it. We've got the ball. Just clear it. Get, get it down for field. Pass it back to a goalkeeper, actually. Williams. Ah. Oh. They didn't read each other with that pass. Come on, ref. 96th minute. This is like the longest replay at the end for a final whistle I've seen. And it's 4-0. It's not even close. If it was like 1-0, one 1-0, nil, one all, I get it. There you go. All over. I'd really hate those end replays. Really do my head in. But brilliant. Fantastic result. F1 played really well. I'm very happy. Does that take us out of relegation? Yes, it does. And that puts Chippenham 23rd. That's how close it is down at the bottom. But you think about it, we are only eight points away from playoffs. Yes, they've got a game in hand. Actually, you look at Slough. We're eight points away from playoffs. It's very early on in the season. We took over them at 21st in relegation. We're now 20th. Can only look up. So we have started off pretty well, as you see. But I've really, really flown through the season. The end of the day, end of the season is all what matters. We're trying to get the team from, I think they were 17th. And we just want to keep them going up and up and up. We've done it before with Scarborough Athletic in obviously our previous save. I've got to stop reminding me about that save because it's really, really irritating me still. But for aim is to use the same tactics that we had before. Tweak them. Again, we know they work. So why use something different? If, it, if a patch is really messed up for tactic, and then obviously I'm going to have to do some research and see what we need to do. But hopefully my update is going to be a positive one because we are now 1st of January. I'm going to update you on transfers, how our fixtures have gone and where we are currently in the league. And then it's for the next six months to play for. Can we do something amazing? Let's go find out. So I've highlighted the transfers that has taken place since I've been at the club. As you can see, we bought in two and we've got rid of four. I joined the club at 11th of October, so that gives you a bit of indication around for dates. We didn't sign our first sign-in until 11th of November, which is a month later. Obviously, we, get, we gave it a month to kind of get a feel for our team. We got rid of our first player, who is Bilal Sayud. And, I mean, look at his stats. They weren't great. And what he's played... I mean, he's played a couple of games. I mean, that was off the bench. Yeah, fair enough. You can argue I didn't give him a chance. But I think I had enough players in that position. I think that's the reason. And he was surplus to requirements. And today, if I'm going to bring anyone in, I have no transfer budget. I have no wage budget. So I have to get rid of and utilize for loan stroke free markets. Then we decided to get rid of a couple more players. Daniel Powell and Araud Disa. Again, just surplus to requirements. I'm not going to go into that details. We'll pick up a J in a minute because I think I was humming an R in around him. And with those three players going, that allowed us to bring in Oscar Goburn. So I felt like that we was quite light in midfield. 32 years old, central mid, he can play ball winning midfielder, DLP, Carrillo. So quite all round. And then again in defence midfield as well. We could play him ball winning midfielder. I think I've brought him in for exact that role here. And as you see stats, great mentality, all double digits and light green. And even his technical. I mean, his technical is marking nine. It could be better. Maybe when he joined, it was a 10 because I can see that's gone down. And then tackling a 12, which is really, really good for obviously winning midfielder his physical side is a bit of a letdown but at this level i'm happy with his mentality and his tackling and then we brought in we was pushed to bring in this player and i brought him in center defense hamish douglas he was brought in a day before but i kind of knew that he was going to go uh, carter j i, I kind of wanted him to stay just as a squad player just because i was like oh if i get rid of him i then need to find someone else and as a squad player, his stats looked all right, to be fair. Nothing special. I was like, you know what? I'll have a look around. And then I found Hamish Douglas on loan, 18 years old. Look at his stats. 10 heading, 11 marking, 13 tackling. Good mentality already. 
18 years old and good physicality. It's apart from his strength, but again, he's 18, he can build up on that. Just needs to go to the gym a little bit more. On that note, should we go check out how our fixtures have gone? Fantastic start. That's what we want. Fair enough, we was at home. Then we beat Dover 3-1, Braintree, we drew to all, and then we beat Dartford 3-1 at home. So for our start, we had three home games and one away. Still unbeaten in our first four games. And we took October to only one game loss. Obviously, we didn't play that game, but it was still better. I mean, if you look at the previous months, we've won one, two, three games. And in the previous two months, we've already beaten that. So in my eyes, that's a very, very positive start. Then we go into November. We lose our first game in November. 3-0 against Slough and uh, I mean where are Slough currently? They're 10th. It was tight in chances we just didn't take our chances. Look one on target they had four on target and scored three. They actually was massive because of that. We held for possession but possession football didn't pay off for us therefore we lost and I probably wasn't quick enough at changing my game plan. Maybe I should have just went direct attacking and direct that might have paid off. It just didn't one of those games let's move on then we went on and beat Averley 1-0 now Averley they're 13th so yeah okay mid-table if we want to try and push for these playoffs we need to beat teams like that especially away and then we had four home games on a trot and I'm so glad to say we went unbeaten on that run so we won 3-1 4-1 2-1 1-0 I think one of these games was against top of the table. I don't know if they're top now, so let's have a quick look. 15th, okay. Uh, Bath City versus fourth, Eastbourne, third. So two good, really, results there. Bath City maybe could be, but they're challenging for promotion, right? We're trying to fix team, and we'll look where we started and uh, look at our positioning. So December, we won two games and lost four. Now, five of the six games was away. And we even lost our home game. So let's just dive into this. Hampton and Richmond, 21st. We was away, but 1-0. We was probably the better team. Then Scarborough Athletic. I was going to record this game, but I was like, I'm away. If I lose, I'm going to be really, really gutted. And it's a sour point right now that for fact, I lost for save, right? It's gone. Since then, by the way, I have replaced my hard drive. I did have an error come up when my computer does a system check. It said there's a problem with my hard drive. And I thought, oh, I wonder if. But I don't see any other files missing apart from that one save. I mean, I have all everything else so far. I've gone through it. I have everything, even like a byte of photos and videos that I've taken off my camera. Still got. Got all my captures for content. That's all there. And then this one save, football manager save, went missing. But I don't know if I have to put two and two together. Anyway, I think that's going to be the last time I mention it. Maybe. So we lost to Scarborough Athletic. You can see uh, oranges here. I've put virtually their whole team in my shortlist. So bring up match stats. Yeah, Scarborough Athletic was the better team in chances. Not on target. But again, they only beat us 1-0. We had more possession. We are definitely more of a possession team. I'm thinking, I think I've started tweaking that at the end uh, where we've gone through these losses. I think the Worthing loss, 5-1. I've started making some tweaks to my tactic. So we win uh, uh, Haven't and Waterloo. We beat them 3-2. Torquay, we lost 3-0. Now Torquay, are they up there? Yeah, Torquay's top. So we lost that. Worthing, don't know what happened here. 5-1, I know they're fifth, but we was at home. We got absolutely battered and that's where i was like you know what i need to change my tactics and this is where i think we was having all the possession and there was battering us and then i went complete direct and it still didn't pay off so we will see i've made tweaks and i think you just have to you have a core tactic and you have to make tweaks based on the players you have it's common sense then st albans 3-1 uh we won which is really really good that was our local rivalry Hemel Hempstead versus St Albans right next to each other. I think we absolutely battered them, didn't we? Match stats. Uh, we had for possession and we had for chances. I mean, stats just show it. Majority red. And then we played St Albans again. But this time at home and we beat them 5-0. And that was my last game I played on New Year's. So I literally just finished that game. And this time, 
St. Albans was probably a slightly better team. Apart from us having 66% possession, we just put away our chances. Seven on target and five goals. That's what you like to see. 167 high intensity sprints. That's high. So we literally probably just held the ball and then suddenly went with a high intensity sprint and got for goal. That was pretty much it. And St. Albans couldn't cope with that. So we're 11th. We are three points away from playoffs. If you think about it, if I took this team at the start of season, we probably would be in playoffs quite easily, I would say. Then we go to see where we was. So if we go to the game where we won 4-0, so here we go. So this was our first game. So we took charge when they was 21st in the table. And we are currently 11th. To be fair, now that we're only three points away from playoffs, we've got to be fame, right? Be fame. And can we get lucky, get the right results in for playoffs and get promoted? That'd be amazing. If I don't get promoted this year, there's no sour grapes about it. I did it once with Scar Athletic. Actually, we did it in a season and a half with Brackley Town. It would be amazing if we could do it, but I can't I can't promise it. And then we have our player. So if I go by average rating, and as you can see, Joe Ray, these are players that you can just note them down and add them to your shortlist, just like I've done with my Scar Athletic save. It's players that I'm like, oh yes, if they come available, I know what they're capable of, they work with my tactic, let's bring them in if I can. So Joe Ray, doing really well, 7.26, got a few goals and some assists. Terrell Whitaker, probably our best player, according to the stars anyway, but I do think that he is a star player in terms of stats for this league, and he's only 21 as well. And he has scored five, a set of seven, and playing a 7.2. Then we've got Briscoe. Uh, yeah, he's not that young, actually. He's 25 years old. I think he's just a squad player, isn't he? Looks all right, actually. Poacher. So he doesn't quite play our pressing, but at that day, he did well last game. So I will give him more of a chance. I mean, played five, five subs and four goals and one assist. So there's promise there. But our main striker, obviously, is Kaylin Hines, 24 Apps and 15 goals. Brad McGregor, 18 years old, left back, one to watch out for. Chris Smith, Williams, and so forth. And who's kind of not performing well for us at the moment? Goburn, is that the player I brought in? I think it is, yeah. He's just not doing that great, but I kind of want to give him a chance. How's his form? Yeah, it's just going to have to be dropped, isn't he? I mean, 6.5 and 6.59 as an average rating. Yeah, it's just not good enough. So there is still room to improve going into the business end of the season three points away from playoffs can we do it well if you want to support this channel you know what you need to do hit that like button and if you'd like to continue watching or just support the channel hit that subscribe button and i will catch you on for the next one